Hi everyone, this is a comparison video between the Blossom Cup and several of the other cups I have on hand. I will leave the measurements in the description below and if you're looking for a specific um, cup there is a list in the description as well as a timestamp if you don't want to watch all of the other cups that I'm going to be um, comparing against. I am going to use the palms of my hands to hopefully get a little bit more accurate reading. Um, I feel that if I use my fingertips and thumbs it doesn't um, give the same amount of pressure. So I'm going to use the, the palms of my hands and please forgive me if I fidget because I'd like to get both of the cups positioned in my hands um, evenly. I do have size small and size large in some of the cups that I have today and I will note when I have those cups and I will also do a comparison on both of those sizes since they are um, a little bit different. Usually one is a little more firm or more soft. So this is a size 1 and 2 Eva cup and I'm just, I was just uh, showing you the difference there a little bit. Um, so I will be comparing the softness of the bottom of the cup and the firmness of the the rim on each of the cups. So let's get started. This is the Cupley size 2 and the Blossom Cup size 2. So I'm uh, just showing the softness of the backs of the cups right now or the bottoms of the cups and the inside of the Blossom Cup and inside Cupley. And the brim. And that was Cupley. This is the Diva Cup size 2. The bottom of the cup. Blossom Cup inside. And the Diva Cup. And the rims. And that was the Diva Cup. This is the Eva Cup, size 1 and size 2. So the bottom of the cup, oh, sorry, this is the Blossom Cup inside, and the Eva Cup. And the rims are very similar. I'm still smashing the back of that uh, Blossom Cup. It's such a soft cup. Oh, so I have a size 2 here of the Eva Cup and I'm going to try to show you the difference between the two. So the inside of the Eva Cup is size 2 and size 1 or small. So the um, size 1 is a little firmer, both on the top and the bottom of the cup. And that was the Eva cup. This is the Fleur cup size uh, 2, and I do not have a pouch for that, it didn't come with a pouch. The 
bottom of the cups, the blossom cup, the flare cup, and the rims. And that was the flare cup. This is a juju cup, size 1. I'd really like to get a juju cup size 2. If I come across it, I'll probably pick it up. This is the back of the cup, or the bottom of the cup. And here's inside the Blossom Cup and the Juju Cup. And the rims. And that's the Juju Cup. This is the Lady Cup size 2. The bottom of the cup. And the rims. And that's the Lady Cup. This is a Lunette Cup, size 1 and size 2. The bottom of the cups. And the rims. And then I'll also compare the um, size 1 and size 2 lunettes together. This is size 1 inside and inside size 2. And also the rims. So the size one in the lunette is softer, softer both on the bottom and uh, the rim of the cup. So that was the lunettes. This is the Maluna Medium Classic. This is the size that uh, they suggested for me uh, with the size calculator. I don't have any of the other sizes or a sample ring, so I couldn't tell you um, how much bigger or smaller it is to compared to the other Malunas. So, oh, also the Maluna is made out of TPE and not silicone. So here's the bottom of the cups. inside the blossom and inside the molina and the rims and that was the molina medium classic so this is the natural mama uh, cup. It is, uh, they only offer one size and it is the patterned design.
And the bottom of the cups. So inside blossom. Inside natural mama. And the rims. Pretty similar on the rim. Blossom cup is a tad softer there. And that was the natural mama. This is the moon cup. It's the USA version. It's size B, which is the smaller of the two cups. And I'm not sure if this is the pouch that it um, originally came with, but I did get this in a D stash. So this is the, the pouch that it came with when I got it. And again, this is the size B, which is the smaller of the two sizes. So the bottom of the cup, inside the blossom cup, and inside the moon cup. And the rims. And that was the moon cup. Oops. This is the ruby cup and it only comes in one size. Inside the blossom cup. And the ruby cup. Onto the rims. And that was a ruby cup. This, this is a scoon cup, and um, I did get this in a D stash. So I don't know if this is the actual pouch that er it originally came with, but it's, it is the pouch that I had gotten. Uh, this is the size 2 schoon cup, or the larger. So the bottoms of the cup. Blossom cup. And schoon. And the rims. That was the Schoon Cup. This is a Sabelle Cup. And this might be the most equal of the two comparisons, I think, out of all the cups that I have here. So uh, this is a size 2. And to the bottom of the cups. Oh my goodness, I think the Blossom Cup beats it. Seville cup <laughs> in firmness. So here's the inside of the blossom cup. And oh no. Inside of the Seville cup. They both feel really, really soft. But it looks like the blossom cup is still softer than um, the Seville. And the rims. Well, the rims, the rim of the Sabelle is softer, though. So that was the Sabelle cup. This is a Yuki cup. It is the smaller of the two sizes, and this is the medium firmness. Uh, I did not receive a pouch with this cup. So the back of the cup, and this is the cup they said is uh, uh, the most firm cup that you could find on the market. So the bottom of the cups. And 
inside Blossom and inside the Yuki Cup. And the rims. And that was the Yuki Cup. These are two of the China cheapies that I had purchased. Um, it says that they're made out of 100% medical grade silicone, but I don't know any of their testing or certificates, so buy them at your own risk. And I do have size uh, 1 and size 2. And this is the size 2, or the larger of the two. And the back of the cup, so the bottoms of the cup. Inside the blossom cup. And inside the no name. And the rims. And now the size one and size two. And it looks like the size two or the larger cup is softer. And the size one. So this is the small or size one and the size two. And the rims. Again, the size large is softer. And those again were no names. So I hope I covered a cup that you were looking for. If not, check back on my videos. I will be doing um, a comparison on all of these other cups. I do have one more cup that I don't think I'm going to cover. It's called the Alicia Cup because you can't get it anymore, but it is very, very firm. Um, it seems like a really large cup, and I'm not sure if it's made out of um, just silicone or silicone and something else, a poly something or other um, because it just feels way different than our, our regular 100% medical grade silicone. Anyhow, I'm not going to cover it. I will um, talk about it in another video though if you are interested in that. Um, I got my hands on it in a D stash and I was really curious about it because I did read that that company had closed down. It got passed around and then closed down. But this video was about the Blossom Cup and um, its comparison to the other cups that I had. And you can see that the Blossom Cup is quite a soft cup. So if you're looking for a very soft cup, this is a great cup for you. Um, please visit their website, their Facebook if you need more information and the specs on their um, on their the makings of their cup. Uh, ask them questions if you had any or you can ask me questions and I can try to help you if I have the answer. Um, so have a great day and check out the other videos if you're looking for another cup comparison. Thank you.